Yeah, and I want to go to the right. And we'll just kind of just run right out from the band when we're like, we need to be in the Hey, what's up guys? Rob here with New Music Buzz. We are here at the Ace Hotel in downtown LA for the Hulu documentary premiere of Obey Giant featuring the life of the incredible artist who is Shepard Fairey. Check it out. Using my art to channel my frustrations is the most constructive way I can think of. Everything that I felt wasn't being addressed in other parts of the world, punk rock address. Skateboarding too. I was inspired by bands putting up flyers. I was inspired by graffiti. People going out and doing daring locations for the sake of saying, I exist. Shepard really impressed a bunch of haters. When I see like the shot I'm filming and I would put the light and would like turn around and like, turn off the light, turn off the light. The idea that someone didn't like it didn't really phase me. I have to make work that counter narrative. Do you remember the first time you saw his work and, and what caught your attention? You know, it, it's it's so wild because you, it's so iconic. You can hardly remember the first time you saw the Andre the Giant. You know what I mean? It was so like it's got a burn in the back of your brain. I, I swear, I feel like I was five years old, but that was impossible. You know what I mean? Um, it is so iconic, so incredible the way he used his art to just to inform, to infuse, and it, it took design and art to a whole nother level, and, and it just took it to another deal. And I, I'm telling you, Shepard is a true genius of this art form, man, and he really knows, you know, how to, how to market as well as, you know, just, I, I don't know what else to say, man. He, he, he's kind of like, you know, you feel like a modern day Warhol in a lot of ways. Yeah, you could definitely say that. Yeah. And it's crazy because there's not a street or even like less than a mile that you go by and there's no way that you won't see any of his work. Like, it's everywhere. Let me tell you, and he knows how to work big. I mean, this is a man who had the, the only installation in the Eiffel Tower ever in history. And let me tell you, I'm so happy to call him a friend of mine. And here he is! Oh! I love you, man! How are you? Oh, man. I'm so my pleasure, my pleasure. The artist, the man. Look at David Day. My need to make my work topical comes from everything that I've been into that's made my life feel meaningful. Spreading in an underground, mysterious way, it impacted people. I wasn't really thinking about legality of street art. There are consequences to this sort of thing. Congratulations on tonight, man. Thank you. I'm sure this is something that you never expected would happen. No, definitely not. I um, I thought I would be toiling in obscurity most of my life, but um, I guess that's uh, that's what happens when you win the war of attrition. I'm the last man standing. There you go. You know, <laughs> there you many, go. Many arrests and so on, and I just didn't give up. So right. here I am. How did how did all this happen for you? How did this documentary come together? How did you get together with the team behind it? Well, basically, my relationship with the Art of Elysium, who then partnered with James Franco's company, Elysium. Uh, Elysium Bandini is the combination of Art of Elysium and uh, Rabbit Bandini. And then they met uh, James Mole, the director, and he said, I like Shepard's work, I'd love to do something about him. And so it was, uh, it was a lot of just sort of um, happenstance, you know, collision of uh, people who are doing creative things. But luckily, I had been saving a lot of footage archival footage of me doing stuff for years and uh, a lot of people came out um, and were willing to give footage to the film so it's a combination of stuff we shot over the last two years and then stuff from the last 20 years. Right. All of this happened for, because of music for him, because of so many different things. Music's your big thing, music's your passion. How does, how do you feel like Obey and music like really, you know, go together? It's such a beautiful marriage, you know, like his art and music really speaks, and that's why we've collaborated. You know, I've been so lucky to collaborate with him on two drum sets of mine. Yeah. Where we've literally put his art onto the drums, and he's hand painted some, which is pretty cool. We have one set he made me is in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame right now, and the other set just debuted at the uh, Hard Rock in Vegas. Nice. And then we're about to work on a new one now, so it's pretty pretty that's exciting. Incredible. It's really cool to collaborate. What caught your attention um, from like what what piece of his caught your attention the first time? Um, the first time was just the iconic Andre the Giant, just seeing it, you know, growing up in New York, seeing it everywhere. But, you know, we made my drum set based on his Rise Above piece about gun, you know, illegal, you know, gun violence and stuff. Um, you know, just because my art 
I'd rather it speak in the way I perform and my drums than just right. with the mouth. And it's just a powerful piece that was really cool to tour the world with, you know, those drums and that, that message, you know. He's a great friend, a mentor, and I could not be more proud and so excited to support him and um, the documentary night, the movie. Yeah. And do you remember the first time you experienced uh, any of his artwork? Yeah, I think we all kind of remember, you know, growing up and having the Obey come out, and then obviously the Obama, you know, it couldn't have gotten bigger than that. Right. So, yeah. So what excites you most about being here tonight? I think probably just supporting him and supporting Art of Elysium. Um, Shepard is, as I said, a very good friend. I've been working with Art of Elysium for seven or eight years. He's partnering for tonight. and. Yeah, I'm a huge collector of his as well. Um, he actually did a like 25 or 30 foot mural at my dad's office. Um, so it was really cool to work on that with him as an emerging artist myself and having him as a mentor. Right. Even though we're in different categories and he's the street art and I'm more contemporary art, right. it's been a really cool experience. So. To stand for something takes courage. We only have so much time on the earth and I'm not gonna waste a second of it. Shepard Ferry, and you've just been buzzed.